Great to have you with us on this spring Friday in Western New York, and we start with a police staffing crisis in Niagara Falls. City leaders tonight say more officers are needed to keep their communities safe, but that, of course, comes at a cost. Despite a number of changes in the department, police response time in the city is much longer compared to the national average. According to the Niagara Gazette, the national response time to a non-emergency call is about 10 minutes, but in Niagara Falls, it's triple that at 31 minutes. 7 News reporter Michael Schwartz live tonight in the Cataract City after speaking with city leaders about what can be done to address this issue. Michael. Jeff, the city council meeting ended just a few minutes ago, and while the issue of police officer shortage has not been addressed tonight, I'm told that talks will now continue for the sake of the officers and the safety of this community. The Niagara Gazette reports the union representing Niagara Falls police officers and detectives is asking city council to add more officers to help with the overall safety of the city. A statement approved by the police club. The police club has not come to us as a city council yet to let us know that there's an issue. But Niagara Falls councilman Kenny Tompkins says the city has had an officer staffing shortage for more than a decade. Exact same everything from, you know, 16, 17 years ago. So how do you solve this? Right now it's all about the funding and the funding all comes from taxes. And how much can the people that are getting hit with everything right now afford to pay more? The Niagara Falls Police Department has 155 sworn officers in a city with 46,844 people, according to U.S. Census estimates. That's 302 residents per every officer. Tompkins says each additional police officer would cost a Niagara Falls household roughly $42. I personally would pay it in a heartbeat. But a lot of people say, no, we don't want to pay. We should have all this now with what we pay. Tompkins says right now Niagara Falls would have to cut elsewhere in order to add more police officers. You take away from the Department of Public Works, right? So we're going to cut four guys in public work so we can bring on four police officers. Well, them four guys plow the streets in the winter. How's the police going to get to the call if your streets aren't plowed? According to the Niagara Gazette, the union said officers are also working forced overtime with 16-hour shifts. More police would only help prevent burnout. It's not good for the, the, the safety and the well-being of the police officers, and it's not good for the residents to have fatigued officers out there protecting them. Council member Tracy Back says every option will be explored as a community. We need to have some discussions around this and talk about what the what these issues are and more importantly, what the solutions are. Now, what was approved in tonight's meeting just a few minutes ago was new police cars for the Niagara Falls Police Department. Now, uh, Tompkins said that police officers are being given the tools, except there's only a certain amount of money to then hire new officers. So there's a lot of balancing and moving pieces around in order to find solutions. And of course, uh, as Tracy Back said, it's going to take the entire community, local leaders, and of course, the taxpayers here to figure out what can be done and Jeff as I mentioned the five o'clock hour you were here during your believe in Buffalo series people here saying that Niagara Falls is making a comeback but tourism safety all come mm -hmm. at a cost that will be looked into for now live in Niagara Falls Michael Schwartz 7 News well said Michael thank you a